My focus is to take down the tree and get my corner back to its usual look. I've missed my plants. And then I wanna work on the ottoman. I wanna turn Christmas into winter. And then the curtains is something that I wanted to do for the Christmas season and it didn't happen. So I had to let it go, but I wanna focus on it today. I hope because the curtains that I was going to use for Christmas, they're like a beigey tan and they went really well with like all the golds that I was using for the colors this year. Um, so now that I'm going to take that uh, take that out, um, I do have like a lot of wood look and stuff in here. So it would still blend in, but I don't want to use that color for my curtains now that i'm going to be pulling christmas out so i'm still going to give it a go see whether or not i could live with it at least for the time being because the only other option i have are my white ones that i really would love to see white up here now but it's not the ones with like the tabs the grommets so it's just like the regular curtain and i don't think one it might not even fit through my rod two i don't think that i would be able to live with it i don't think i'd like the way the top would look so i'm thinking i'm probably most likely going to shop for new curtains but i, I am going to mess around with it just so i know for sure that i tried it and neither one worked before i run out and spend money maybe i don't have to but it looks like i'm going to um i actually did see a pair of curtains from a christmas tree shop in that that i fell in love with but the one i went to they only had the size 63 long so obviously i need much longer ones the window itself is huge so i'm going to try another christmas tree shop and that and see maybe if they have it if not you know what i'll just live with whatever i do today and then i'll just keep looking until i find something all right so those are the three areas i'm going to cover my corner my window and my ottoman The tree is bare. All of it has been contained in this one tote, minus my glass balls, anything that has sentimental value, special ornaments. It all goes in this very special, very old wine box. This was how my dad used to store our ornaments. And a lot of the ornaments in here are ornaments from my childhood. It's so near and dear to me. I It was passed on to me for my first Christmas that I was married. And I have um, cherished it ever since. And I always feel like he's with me. When anytime I touch this box, um, we always put up the tree together. We play the christmas records it was it was really special now i'm going to vacuum up the area and then move on to the window
So here are the curtains. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I was gonna like it without the Christmas stuff there. And then here are the white ones. These curtains are so beautiful, but this is not the window for them. So we're gonna remove them. I didn't iron either one because I wanted to make sure that I was going to use them before I went through the trouble of ironing them. So I am gonna put these up and i'm still gonna look for that other pair that i saw that i really liked they were white but they had brown and gray and tan in it i believe it had all the colors that i use in this room so i think um they're the perfect pair as long as i can find the length that i need but for now i'm gonna go ahead and change over to these because i'm carrying the colors for winter many of the colors that i used for Christmas. So these are still gonna match versus the ones I just had up that didn't even match Christmas. It matched my regular look that I um, use in here, but right now for winter, these are gonna match better. Space complete, a breath of fresh air. Curtains, not yet ironed, but we're gonna move on to my window ottoman. The uh, throws are staying. This is what it looked like for Christmas, but the trees um, mimic winter trees very well. That is my um, everyday throw that I keep here. And this one, you know, lends to, to really any style it's just a plain cable knit so it's very winter so the only thing i'm going to remove is the gold beads and the greenery and i think i'm going to rearrange the middle throw So I decided not to mess with it. Once I took the beads off and the greenery, first I thought for sure that I was going to um, lose the drape because it was like my Christmas look. But now that it's off, I actually kind of like um, the way that it's looking. So I'm not gonna mess with it for now. I'm gonna give it a few days, see if I change my mind. And then if I do, I'll just end up taking the quilt um, not the quilt, the cable knit throw and fold it like these. But for now, um, surprisingly, I, I'm going to keep it this way. So here is a better look at it. I'll back up a little. Again, curtain not ironed. I will, I will get to that <laughs> today, but for now, I got to mess with the rod, make sure it's just right. And here is my corner. Back to the regular look. Winter surely isn't my favorite season, but it definitely holds its own magic and I love to have that reflected throughout. I've got more of my winter lineup coming up and in a couple of weeks, we're gonna switch over to Valentine's.